Let's talk about macros. To be honest, it's pretty surprising to me, but one of the biggest challenges people have is not knowing how much food they should actually be eating on a daily basis. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly how to calculate your macros, and ultimately, I'm gonna help you figure out exactly how much protein, how many calories you should consume on a daily basis, and also what really matters. Do your fats and carbs matter? Well, let's dive into this. By the way, if you get to the end of this video and you really enjoyed it, you found a ton of value, either comment, subscribe, like, or all three of those things, it would mean the world to me because I plan to bring you a lot more content like this. So thank you for being here and I'm excited to dive into today's topic. Everyone's favorite subject, macros. Yes, that was sarcastic. At the end of the day, this is not the most fun and exciting stuff, but it's definitely really important for people who are trying to lose body fat and or build muscle. There's a couple different approaches we can take in trying to find our maintenance calories. Then from there, we can go into a deficit or a surplus depending on our goals, whether it's to lose body fat or build muscle or bulk, as some people would say. So the first step in finding your maintenance calories is to weigh yourself hopping on the scale and getting an idea of where your weight is at currently. This is the strategy I use with my clients, by the way. So what we do is we have our clients weigh themselves at the beginning of the week, track their food for seven to 14 days. The more days you have tracked, the better. Now, what you're going to do is not change anything you're currently doing. Don't eat more, don't eat less, or don't change how you're eating because you know you're going to be looking at it. Just eat as you normally do. Now, if you track your food for two weeks, your weight does not change, and you average out those calories over the two weeks, that's gonna give you about what your caloric maintenance is. So use that number. Now, from that number, if you add 500 calories to that, you're going to gain weight. If you subtract 500 calories from that, you will lose weight. That is the most simple and effective way to calculate your calories and in order to gain or lose muscle. Now, there's also a bunch of different things that you can use. There's also websites you can use to calculate your macros. For example, there's a website called calculator.net, which is my favorite one to use. If you go enter in your weight, your height, your activity levels, and your goal, it'll give you a calculation. Now, the problem I see with this is that depending on your diet history, how many times you've tried to lose this weight and gained it back, and how many times you've been on binge eating cycles and how many different things have happened in your lifetime, this can actually mess with your metabolism. So it's not gonna be extremely accurate. This is why I like using the tracking methodology and then using that to gauge where the metabolism is at compared to a calculator. I've also seen success with these calculators, so if you want to give it a try and you want to start there, go for it. But personally, like I said, I like to use the methodology of tracking to find an individual's maintenance calories. So now that we have an idea of where our calories are, now you can get an idea of where should your protein, carbs, and fats be. Now, I would say the next most important thing after your calories, because your calories need to match your goals, whether you're wanting to gain or lose body fat. From there, you need to focus on your protein intake. Protein is one of the most important nutrients because without it, it's like trying to drive a car without any gas in it. You cannot, you will not, and you're not a Tesla. You're not electric, by the way. So if we want to continue to move forward with either maintaining or building muscle in the process, which by the way, will speed up your metabolism, we want to consume enough protein to build muscle. So ideally, you want to consume at least 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. By the way, if you're 25 pounds or more overweight, you should most definitely use your goal weight and not your current weight. If you're 300 pounds and you're using the 0.8 math, your protein is going to be way higher than it needs to be. So use your goal weight. So let's just say you're 300, your goal weight is around 200, 220. Use 220 to calculate your protein intake. So multiply 0.8 times your current weight or goal weight. From there, you're going to get this number. That number is how many grams of protein you should have on a daily basis. Now, if you're trying to maximize muscle gain, I would eat closer to one gram per pound of body weight. But if you are struggling on hitting your protein, start with 0.8. I really cannot emphasize enough 
how important your protein intake is. So if I were to recommend to you, the only two things you absolutely need to focus on are your protein and your calories. Now, the next most important nutrients is your fats. So essentially, I can't tell you exactly how many grams because I'm not a registered dietitian. What I can tell you is that fats are essential for our hormone regulation and for our overall health and wellness. So we do need fats in our diet in order to be healthy. Generally speaking, for men and women, I highly recommend you never consume less than 40 grams of fat per day. Like I said, these are extremely important nutrients for our hormones. And this can also vary depending on certain individual factors, but that's usually the bare minimum I tell my clients to allow themselves to consume. Now, I also find it's really important to monitor two important factors, which are your hunger levels and how satiating or satisfying your food is. So one thing I also like to let clients know is that the fats in protein are the most satiating nutrients. I mean, the more of them we have, the more full we feel after our meals. So if we have those things more often, we're gonna feel more full and satisfied from our meals and not feel like we need to go eat again right after we finish a meal. So that's why those are also important to include in our diet. Now, as for carbs, those are amazing for energy, for increasing calories, for having before our workouts, for blood flow, for so many different things. So carbs are also amazing and you shouldn't be afraid to consume carbs. However, we can go overboard pretty easily. So be mindful of the carbs that you're consuming, the types of carbs that you're consuming. So personally, I go about this in one easy way, which is focus on your calories and your protein intake. And if you focus on those two things, allow your fats and carbs to fluctuate on a daily basis. Find that balance that you enjoy, that you feel best on. I personally like having higher fats. I have many other clients that prefer having higher carbs. So find what works for you, find what makes you happy and satisfied after your meals. And that's how you're gonna find the perfect macro ratio for you. So if you found value in this video, you found it helpful and you learned something from this, please let me know below so I can know what you guys wanna hear more about. Also, if you can subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me because then I can bring you more content like this. And lastly, if you want our help to calculate your macros, if you want us to customize and define exactly what you need to be consuming and how much of it to be consuming on a daily basis when it comes to your calories and protein, if you want our help, go ahead, go to the description, click the link for the strategy call with me and go ahead when you book that, we can get on a call and we can talk about this in depth for you personally, because remember, everyone's different. These numbers will be different for each individual. And if you need help with that, just let me know and I'm happy to help. Have an amazing day and I look forward to bringing you more content just like this. Talk soon. Peace.